Howdy, y'all. Long time no video, as usual. Uh, I'm doing this one as a voiceover again. The audio that I captured while actually recording the video didn't come out too good. It was even more long-winded than this one's going to be. I've got myself a CO2 laser engraver here. This is a Trotec Speedy 100, and it's uh, the 30 watt model. That's basically their smallest and least powerful laser that they'll sell you. I got this guy used off eBay. Well, anyone who knows about lasers uh, will, will tell you that CO2 lasers don't do anything to most metals. But apparently titanium is an exception. So I've got a piece of 6.4 uh, titanium down in the bed there. And I'm putting a mark on it. And uh, as you can see, it's actually going at a pretty good clip. This would be uh, you know, a really cool thing to put you know, a permanent mark on anything made out of titanium uh, logo or whatever. The uh, cutting parameters that I'm using here are 100% power, which, as I mentioned, should be about 30 watts at 140 millimeters a second. That's uh, creating this kind of uh, nice blue color. Apparently, by varying this, the power or the speed, you can get different colors, but this is only the second one I, I tried. You can see the tiny little Zia up in the corner there. So, uh, you know, I, I haven't... This is it. This is all I've done. So I figured I'd record this video and get it out. We get the a closer shot of it here. Uh, just a second, I guess. The surface of the titanium is pretty streaky from the factory or whatever. So the engraving or the, the marking came out a little streaky as well. I assume if it was a more uniform surface, the, the marking would have come out more uniform as well. I wondered how durable the finish would be, so I decided to try to scrape some of, some of it off. I didn't really want to, but I guess I felt like it wasn't uh, honest to just put the video out with no testing whatsoever. So I grabbed a piece of metal that I think is stainless steel. I'm not, I don't know what it is, but I think it's stainless steel. And I uh, tried to scrape it off. And as you can see, it kind of looks like it's basically just rubbing right off like, like it was crayon or something. But I think what's happening is the stainless steel is actually being rubbed off onto the titanium. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's, my, that's my thinking. I wipe it off with a <laughs> dirty rag here in a second. And afterwards, the marking basically looks just like how it looked straight out of the laser engraver. Anyway, hope this was entertaining and useful and stuff. I'll see you guys later.